Psalm 113. Praise ye the Lord. Have you got it? Have you got what the Bible says or you don't read the Bible? Bible says, praise ye the Lord. 112, praise ye the Lord. 111, praise ye the Lord. Verily, verily. There is more praise ye the Lord's in the Bible than the birthday of Jesus. But we celebrate Christmas as the birthday of Jesus. But you don't praise the Lord. You don't read the Bible. You don't study the Bible. Praise belongs to God and nobody, nothing else. And if you can hear that music, that's just our neighbor. Praise all ye servants of the Lord. Not only do you praise the Lord, are you a servant of the Lord? You're supposed to be praising God. You ought not to be praising other man. You ought to be praising the Lord. Oh, I hate Mondays. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Praise ye the name of the Lord. There's a name above all names. Singing hymns are a great praise of God, but how many times in the hymns do you find the name of God, the name of Jesus Christ? Very few. We're doing this, a study on it Tuesday. The biblical truth of our hymn. And there's one thing lacking from the hymns. Is the name of Jesus. Remarkable. Blessed be, happy be the name of the Lord from time forth and forevermore. You know what's supposed to make you happy? The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know what makes God happy? You praising the Lord. You praising his name. You're supposed to pray in the name of Jesus. You're supposed to say, well, I'll do something Lord willing. Because time is not in my control. And if God allows me to do it, then I'll do it. That's praising God. From the rising of the sun... Unto the going down of the same. The Lord's name is to be praised. Sunrise to sunset. How'd you do today? How often did you praise the Lord? How often did you give God the glory? How often did you tell others about Jesus? I'm amazed. And I've been in many ministries, and I, I try to do many ministries, and how Christians won't give Jesus Christ the time. You've got seven days a week, and yet the time that you do things is the time when time has been set forth for Jesus Christ. And then you want God to bless you. You want God to be pleased with you. You want God to, to help you. You want God to give you happiness. And you can't even praise the Lord. And you can't even give God your time. When's the last time you praised the Lord? When was the last time you spent the day from the sun up to the sun down? Praise in the name of the Lord. The Lord is high above all nations. And listen, I've seen Christians on their Facebook posts, and America is above all. America is above New Jerusalem. America is above God. Some even put Trump ahead of God, and they speak more about Trump than they do about Jesus Christ on their Facebook posts. Go back and check your history. Check your Facebook listings. Go back and see. Do you give more for America than you give for New Jerusalem? 
Have you given more to Donald Trump than you have given for Jesus Christ? Then you're not praising God. You're praising America and you're praising a, a man that sinned. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God, but not Jesus Christ, who is worthy of all praise. Again, I apologize if you can hear our neighbor's music. The Lord is high above all nations. And there's only one nation above all nations. That's the nation of Israel. And I don't even hear that mentioned by many Christians. Many Christians think they're going to go to the new America. You're foolish. <clears throat> and his God's glory above the heavens. There's three heavens. There's the heavens as far as the dirt is, as far as the eagle flies. And as far as the eagle flies to the, the frozen of God's throne. And God is greater. And America now in the process of sending the dragon into outer space. And America in the space exploration of the planet Mars has called it the evolution. And you think America's be God bless. You think America one nation under God. Not with a space program called evolution in the rocket called the dragon. Sounds like to me America's more for the Antichrist than they are for the real Christ. But you're too stupid and too blind to see it. I'm going to start using the word stupid today more often now. Because when you haven't studied your Bible, you're stupid. You don't like it? It's tough. The Bible says foolish, I say stupid. I don't think I need to confess it as a sin. Who is like unto our Lord, our God? Absolutely nobody. No one has created anything like God has created. Nobody can save your soul like God can save your soul. Nobody can fix a broken life like God can fix a broken life. No man can forgive sins as God has forgiven sins. No man can cast you into hell like God will cast you into hell. Who dwelleth on high? You know who's dwelling on high? God. You know who's the highest of all the highest to be the highest of the highest to be high of the high high? God. The almighty God. And many people have taken God off the throne and put something there. Something cheap and an imitation instead of God. Sometimes it's called career. Sometimes it's called family. Sometimes it's called a wife, some called a husband, some called children, some called a sports team, some called a movie, some called an actor. But God is the one that's on high. And God will dethrone your God. Who God humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth. Almighty God has to humble it. He had to humble himself to come be born in a manger for our sin. God, Almighty God, born in a, in a manger because there was no room for him at the end. There's no room for him at the church. The lad is seen church age. He is knocking on the outside of the door. Because services are on Facebook Live. And so are you, Stiley. I got YouTube videos that go all the way back since 2010. I have been doing a public video ministry of the internet since 2010. November, October or November, maybe December. I have been doing the internet ministry long before you you close your church doors and fear coronavirus, then you fear God. I do as a help and an aid.
He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifted the needy out of the dunghill. I thought it was an employer. I thought it was my job. I thought it was my career. Actually, it's God. It's God that does it. That he may set him on princes, with princes, even with the princes of the people. Daniel, Shadrach, Mordecai, Joseph. He maketh the barren woman, a woman who can't have a baby, keep house. You know what's the problem with the women today? They're not keeping house. Imagine a television program giving five women to sit at a table and do nothing but talk. They're not home cleaning. They're not home making a dinner for their husband. They're not... You ain't got nothing to say. Shut up and turn off the TV. Why would you even listen to an ungodly woman speak about ungodly things that does not praise the Lord? Christian. I'm amazed that Christians say, well, I watch that program. What are you doing watching unsaved people? How's your church attending? The virtuous woman takes care of her house, takes care of her husband, takes care of her children. Proverbs 31. And to be a joyful mother of children. <laughs> That's anything but I've heard. On, uh, I've been reading on Facebook. Now the children and the family are home. Christian lady, if you're not joyful with the women, you're not praising the Lord. What did we read? Praise ye the Lord. What's it say? To be a joyful mother of children. <coughs> Excuse me. Children are a heritage of the Lord. You know what children become today? Let the government take care of them. Let Herod take care of them. Let Pharaoh take care of them. They're not mine. Children get in the way, so I'll go abort now. And you're going to say you're a godly nation? You're going to say you're a nation under God? Where children are aborted? What's it say? Praise ye the Lord. Did you get it? Have you gotten it? I don't think so. Lukewarm Christians do not praise the Lord. They praise anything and everything that makes them, oh, they like me. And you make God sick. Plain and simple. 